Two weeks ago, me and my family was getting our Christmas tree out to decorate. We were all so excited, especially my wife, because decorating is what she do best. So we opened up the tree and got all the ornaments ready and untangled the Christmas lights. When everything was put up and completed, it was the time to sit back and enjoy the beautiful tree. But to our horror, the moment we switched on the lights, it didn't light up. We tried and tried always to make it work, but it didn't work. Seems that the lights were not working. You know, Joan was so sad and frustrated. She just bought it last year and it was supposed to last at least a few more years. Well, to cut the long story short, we had to take everything down, rush down to town to get a new set of Christmas lights and to complete the decoration back again. And by the time we finished setting up everything, it was already late at night and we were all so tired. Friends, it was our mistake that we didn't check on the lights first before putting it up because we assumed it will be okay, but we forget there is nothing in this world that lasts forever. But I have good news for you. There is a light that will last forever, a light that will continue to light up for you and for me. It's not just any ordinary light, but the light in the manger, and His name is Jesus. In the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in sweating cloths and lying in a manger. Many of us face trials and errors in life. Some big, some small, and it all comes in different shapes and sizes. Even as a child, I struggled with a lot of trials. Growing up in a broken family, my life has been in total darkness. Every day I wake up facing a lot of struggles and I often hit myself in my room crying. As the years goes by, I was always hit with anxiety and life was always meaningless to me, growing through ups and downs. And even when I was blessed with a beautiful wife and three beautiful children, I was still searching for an answer, a light that could light up my life because it was in total darkness. It wasn't until I found Jesus that my life completely changed. Jesus lighted up my life and I was delivered from addiction, healed from a liver illness, family reconciled, and most of all, I found myself back and knew my purpose in life. I was no longer condemning myself and I was no longer broken and in a mess. I still face trials and storms in life, but I'm no longer facing it alone. Jesus is always with me and He lights up for me in times of darkness. Praise the Lord. Well, friends, do you know what is the reason we celebrate Christmas? It is not the big feasting, not the expensive gifts, or even the holiday getaways, but Jesus. He came down more than 2,000 years ago to give us hope. Everyone knows the manger is a place not for human, especially for a baby to be born. It is a place full of animals' waste, it's dirty, and it smells very badly. But the Bible tells us, Jesus was born in a manger. You know, the manger represents the filthiness of the world, a fallen and a messy place. But the manger is also a reflection of our heart. That's why Jesus came for us. He is the reason for the season, came and represents the presence of our Christmas lights. He is the light of the world. Like the rest of the hustle and bustle of the season, the lights are meant to remind us that there is hope. Keep holding on to Him for the hope we need to walk on through the dark and heavy pressings of this fallen world. Have we forgotten about Jesus through our busy lives? Have we forgotten about Jesus when we encounter dark moments in our lives? Sometimes when we focus too much on our legs, we unintentionally push Jesus away. But nonetheless, Jesus is the light of the world. His love and care for us is unexplainable, but it is strongly felt. Though we trust in an unseen God, we feel His presence and care. He is close to the brokenhearted and blesses us beyond all we can dream of or imagine. Those who follow Him witness the way He connects the dots of our everyday lives, light untangling a hopeless strand of our Christmas lights. Living in the light reminds us 
there will be a day where we no longer need to hold on to our sorrows for dear life, but instead embrace Him in it for eternity. Well, this Christmas season, can I encourage us all? Let's bring this light to our friends and loved ones. Let's share the true meaning of Christmas to all of them and let them experience the light. And most importantly, let us open our hearts to let the light in once again. With Jesus, we have hope because He came to be the light in the manger for you and for me. Blessed Christmas, everyone, and have a great time with your family and loved ones. I am Pastor Ken, and this is your 5 Minutes to Victory.